Kia ora, Ayubowan and Vanakam, hello. Today, on the 6th of February, across Aotearoa, New Zealand, we mark the signing of Te Tiriti o Waitangi, the Treaty of Waitangi, remembering our ancestors who signed New Zealand's founding document between the British Crown and Indigenous Māori leaders. Over 180 years later, it remains a day for self-reflection on our journey as a nation thus far, celebrating our successes while recognising our failures and mistakes, all of which have helped to shape Aotearoa New Zealand into the vibrant and diverse country it is today. On the 4th of February, Sri Lanka marked, marked its 75th years of independence. I know that the past year has been a particularly difficult one for the Sri Lankan people. And I'm sure that many of the questions we think about in New Zealand today on Waitangi Day resonate here in Sri Lanka as well. How are we going as a country? How do we overcome the challenges that face our beautiful nation as a forward-looking and united country? And how do we celebrate and support the generous, resilient and diverse people that make up and drive our country? Indeed, in the past year, I have often thought about how New Zealand can assist Sri Lanka as it embarks on its own journey of self-reflection and transformation as it seeks to emerge from its crisis. This will remain a guiding question for New Zealand's engagement with Sri Lanka this year as it shaped our engagement last year whether through the provision of humanitarian assistance, technical expertise, or simply a kind and friendly word. In my almost two years here as New Zealand's first High Commissioner to Sri Lanka, I have had the joy of observing that many similarities between our two countries and finding the many ways in which we are connected, whether through trade, sports, people, or democratic values. In fact, democracy is one of the lo most long-standing and important things that binds New Zealand and Sri Lanka as two of the world's oldest democracies. And 2023 will be an election year in both our countries, meaning that Sri Lankans and New Zealanders will be able to ex exercise our sacred duty of choosing our own political leaders, thus contributing to our country's trajectories in the years ahead. I wish all Kiwis and all Sri Lankans and all Sri Lankan Kiwis the best as we embark on our respective journeys of self-reflection and celebration this year. I hope that both our countries and communities continue to foster these important Kiwi values. Manakitanga, hospitality and kindness. Kotahitanga, solidarity and unity. And Fanakitanga, connectedness, at the cornerstone of our country's development growth and mutual cooperation. Nā mihi and thank you for taking the time to think of Aotearoa New Zealand on this day of national importance.